In this video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 artisanal soap makers of 2020. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host CDB, and thank you for joining me again for another top list. And this list, quite frankly, is just my favorite artisanal shaving soap uh, makers in 2020. And how did I come to a top 10? Well, I had to establish a few rules to limit because otherwise I'd have 25 artisans here. So I tried to think of things that would limit the number of choices that I had. And so there are two hard and fast rules that I use. Number one, I had to have purchased at least three soaps from all of these vendors within the year 2020. And number two, I have to own for keepers at least four soaps from all of these vendors. And so all these products, I purchased at least three this year and I have at least four that I keep from every single brand. And that was one of the ways that I figured I could sort of cut the list down. And quite frankly, some artisans still didn't make it and they should have, but I had to limit it to 10. So this list is not gonna be in any particular order of preference. And also I used a number of things. Did I enjoy doing business with the company? Um, how was the quality of the soap? How was the price of the soap? So some people made it on the basis of quality. Some people made it because it was a tremendous value. Some people because they're a pleasure to deal with and they have great value. So I sort of considered everything to come up with my top 10 list. And again, in no particular order. Let's get started. And when I give the first choice, I will bring out two selections from each artisan, just to give you two cents that I really like that were not on my top 10 shaving soap scent list. So this will give you some additional sense maybe to think about if you've never tried these. So number one, coming to no surprise, and again, in no particular order of preference, this list. Sterling, Sterling Soaps is, in my view, the sort of undisputed value leader when it comes to shaving software, soaps, aftershaves, and so on. It comes to you at such an exceptional price, 5.8 ounces, it's usually under $2.50 per ounce, and they have a lot of choice there. We have, they have probably 40, 50 cents. And one that I really like is Sandpaper. Sandpaper, not Sandpaper, Sandpiper, Sandpiper. <laughs> Sandpiper is based on a YSL cologne, which I can't remember the name of. You get bergamot, cedar, lavender out of this. It is really a terrific scent. And if you've never tried Sandpiper, it is definitely one of my favorites. And the other one I pulled out is another one I don't see a ton, Baker Street. And Baker Street was purchased from Strop Shop, the scent. And it is a wonderful scent. On this one, it's bergamot, juniper. Um, I think this is, I don't care anything about seasonals, but I think this would be in the realm of a fall or winter scent, but I'll use it all year round, as you know. Anyway, beautiful scent, and one that I don't see a ton, Baker Street. Uh, next, we have another brand that did a lot in 2020, Ariana and Evans. Uh, and we know the Kaizen, and Kaizen 2 is great. We know the scents at Ariana and Evans are great and usually strong. And that's one of the reasons we really love Ariana and Evans. SoCal Hipster is one of my choices and it is a nice citrus punch between the eyes. You get that pineapple, you get some other citrus notes as well. If you have not tried SoCal Hipster and you are a fan of citrus, you are missing out because this is a great soap. Also, I chose Asian Pear, which is another, you get the pear, but you get some some dried fruit also. And it also has a little bit of a darkness to it that I can't explain. Not quite as much as Asian Plum. Um, Asian Pear, I prefer over Asian Plum, but both are great. And honestly, I could have pulled 10 soaps up here from uh, from really any of these. Well, at least Sterling and A&E and PAA, I could have pulled up many, many, many soaps, but it's hard to cut it down to two. But Asian Pear and so-called Hipster are the ones that I pulled from uh, Ariana and Evan. So, coming up next, one of the busiest artisans all the time, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Who is busier than Phoenix? No one. They are putting out scents left and right all the time, always putting out gadgets, razors, bowls, things you never even thought of, and it's why it's on my list. Um, I've selected two soaps from Phoenix. Both of these happen to be sort of, I would call them uh, artisanal classics. CAD, which is in scent, sort of like the old uh, Barbasol, um, stand, the, the regular Barbasol shaving cream, somewhere between that and say fine uh, American blend. Really nice, let's smell it. <sighs> really great scent, I absolutely love CAD. And if you like Barbershop scents, perhaps you will like it as well. 
and I couldn't pass on the beach. The beach is just such a phenomenal scent. It will remind you, say, of the, the Hawaiian Tropic um, suntan lotion or maybe Copper Tone from back in the 70s, 80s. Such a beautiful, beautiful scent. I can't get enough of this. This is the best beach type scent that I have ever smelled. The Beach by PAA, another terrific brand. Coming up next, we got an old school brand, been doing it for a long time, just like PAA, and that is Katie's Bubbles. Um, Katie's Bubbles, well-priced, still making soaps, doing an excellent job. One that I have selected is, we call it LMR, La Marche du Rossage, which is a um, aquatic, somewhere in the realm of, say, Arquidigio. Think something like that, beautiful, beautiful scent. And the other soap that we selected is Irish Coffee, formerly known when it was better as Bailey's Irish Coffee. No, that's just a joke. I say that every time I use any Katie's Bubbles or when I use this one. Um, this is really, really nice. You get the sweetness of sort of the brown sugar. You get some of the coffee, but it, overall it has a sweet sort of uh, scent to it. I absolutely love it. And if you haven't tried it, maybe get it, give it a shot. Katie's Bubbles Irish Coffee. Terrific, terrific company. Who do we have next? Who do we have next? A newcomer in 2020. Brand new artisan for 2020. This was Heritage Hill. I really loved doing business with Heritage Hill this year. They have such great customer service and they offer three ounce pours and six ounce pours for the same price per ounce. Well-priced soap, good quality soap. So the first one I have here is Washington. And this has got uh, Tobacco Bay, Jasmine, Patchouli, Sweet Orange, terrific scent. And the other that I've chosen is the Patriot, which is Lime, Bergamot, and Patchouli, both terrific scents. If you have not tried a Heritage Hill soap, they are great people. I highly recommend that you do. Really, really good company, brand new 2020. Next up, we have Murphy and McNeil. Now, both of these subs that I've grabbed today were collaboration subs where Murphy and McNeil collaborated with John Perry and Chicano Designs. The first one, BDLM2, and this is based on uh, Tom Ford for men. Really, really excellent scent on this soap. And the other is Gail Locke, or however you say that. And this one is based on Creed Viking. Um, both are beautiful scents, and Murphy and McNeil has terrific customer service. And they offer free shipping within the USA, no minimum. So that really knocks down the cost of the overall of uh, obtaining their soaps, at least in the United States, and makes them very reasonably priced. Murphy and McNeil, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Coming up next, we have a sleeper pick. And every time I use this, I say it's underrated because I firmly believe it is. And that is Shannon Soaps. Shannon Soaps produces a very good quality soap for a very good price. They have a couple of different formulas. You can get a premium goat's milk formula if you want, but the regular formula is quite good. I selected uh, for the Sense Barbershop, which is a nice uh, barbershop in the realm of, say, Maggard London Barbershop, and also Pineapple Banana. This is very bright and very sweet, so be warned. If you do not like sweet scents, this might not be for you, but if you like sweet, citrusy scents, this one, <sighs> It's wonderful. For me, it's more pineapple for it, but it's a beautiful scent overall, and I really enjoyed it. Coming up next, we have another old school soap maker, and that is Soap Commander. And I realize that you don't see Soap Commander as much as perhaps you used to, but still, they have an excellent soap for a very reasonable price. And I know people are into the 12 butter soaps and the chupacabra oil and dragon tallow, and maybe this doesn't have that. But I tell you what, every time I use Soap Commander, I say, it's great stuff and it doesn't cost a ton. Uh, these six ounce containers are very well priced. The selections that I have uh, got for you today from Soap Commander is Respect, Lime and Patchouli, very, very nice. And I picked Vision, which is when they first started making soaps, Vision or the scent at the, at the time was called the Blue Pill because it was blue. And Vision was one of the first scents that they tested. And it's Aqua Amber Mint sort of will remind you of um, cool water or cold water or whatever that scent is. Really, really nice. Don't sleep on Soap Commander. It's still a very nice soap as far as I'm concerned, and it's still in my top list. Coming up next, we have a, an artisan that was new to me. The first time I ever tried it was 2020. I realized they made soaps before that, but I tried them in 2020, and that is Zingari Man. I find that 
Zingari Man has pretty consistently good scents. This year, I tried quite a few. I missed on two. The Watchman, which I thought I would love based on the sample when I lathered, I did not like. And the Duo, which was just a complete miss for me. I just couldn't get much sense out of, scent out of it at all. But otherwise, very good quality soap. And for the most part, the scents are pretty consistently good, or at least they, I tend to like them. And so I picked two selections today from Zingari Man. That is the Wanderer, which will remind you again of Maggard London Barbershop or that Shannon's Barbershop that I shared earlier. Very, very nice. And the other one that I picked was Socialite, which is a nice, uh, crisp scent, uh, lime, gin, ice. Really like the label on this one too. I think Zingari overall has a, a good presentation. Uh, the cost is fair um, for what it is. And uh, I tell you, I have not been disappointed by the quality of Zingari soaps. Okay, so last, but certainly not least, we have Moon Soaps. And Moon Soaps got a lot of attention this year, and I think rightly so. They come in these, uh, I believe these are six ounce containers. They're well-priced. They, they, they don't have a ton of scents, but the ones they do have are pretty good. This one is Sorrento, which to me is more of a sort of lemony sort of uh, scent. Uh, I, I love it. I don't know how to describe it other than to say citrusy. And it is a really nice soap. And the quality is good, too. And great people at Moon as well. And the other I picked was one that you just don't see as much, Union, which is a sort of a different take on Barbershop. This one is more oak moss, uh, lavender, sandalwood. Really, really nice. I don't see this one getting praised as much as the others. But for me, because it's so different from every other barbershop, I really enjoyed it. And Moon Soaps is definitely one of those that I recommend. In fact, all 10 brands here today, you could certainly buy from Confidence. I, you, sh you should be able to buy with Confidence, I should say. I cannot guarantee that you'll love all the scents, but these soap makers do put out a quality product and I had very good experience with all of them in 2020 and I hope you will enjoy it if you try these artisans. I would also like to know what are your choices? What would have made your list? Now don't be critical about it and go oh so and so should have been there. Look it's my list <laughs> and so these are the ones that I were able to narrow it down to. These are the ones that I really enjoyed. There are of course many other soap makers that I enjoyed as well. First Line Shave comes to mind. I didn't own four soap so it, it just missed the cut. I had to draw the line somewhere but I am interested to know what would be your choices? And I just thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Remember, do your shave, do it your way. And until next time, God bless.